Welcome back. We are taking on the World Cup Chester Combots. They have released four bots, each for the uh, four uh, semi-finalists in the FIFA World Cup this year. And today we're going to be taking on Croatia, the 1,000 rated bot. Beat Croatia to support your team. Okay, let's get into a challenge match, guys. So we've got the white pieces. Now, the last uh, football bot I took on, Argentina, I was actually very impressed. And he played the same line with the Rue Lopez, and then he kicked the bishop. So I'm not going to play that again. I'm going to play bishop here and get an Italian game. Uh, now, I'm not familiar with the theory here, honestly, but I want a break at the center. Uh, so I guess I'm going to make that work. It doesn't work now. I'm going to play this to try and get this moving. Maybe if you're an Italian game player, guys, you can let me know. Is this theory? But maybe. Probably not. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Breaking at the center. He gives a check. You come out. This is still sort of hanging. But I always thought I had ideas of this pinning the piece. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. Wait. No, no. Actually, this bot is okay. It's pretty good. I just gave the camera a look, like, you know, these bots always hang in pieces, but actually, they've got some alignment issues of their own, haven't they? So let's show that. We'll take it, and then... Oh, they, they play this instead, which is still good, actually. Is it? No. No. No, it's not good. No, that's not good. Um, yeah, so here, Rook over... And I'd have to block with the knight to save the queen. This attacking the pinned piece. Queen stepping off the alignment issue. And then pawn takes knight, winning the piece back. And they'd have actually just gobbled the pawn there in the center, I think, with that line. But here I can just take this pawn. Don't really understand what they're doing. Why have I got my hood up like the old days, guys? Because there's a bit of an energy crisis in the UK, so we're all trying to not put our heating on to save money <laughs> and not give the uh, the big gas companies what they want. So. All right, um, this. I mean, development and hit the queen at the same time. What's wrong with that? I don't know. I'll take here. Got that defended, so let's give this one a go. Okay, so Argentina was actually quite an impressive bot, I thought, but Croatia less so, uh, which is, I mean, yeah, it's pretty accurate with the way the football has gone, actually. Um, yeah, Croatia just lacking that, that upfront attacking presence, and uh, yeah, we've seen that in this game as well. So here... I mean, I could probably just sack the queen. <laughs> Let's just sack the queen. Yeah, that makes it a bit more interesting, I think. So, I don't want to make it too interesting, though. That's, we've got a bit of a game on our hands again now, guys. All right, so here. Because he's maybe threatening to damage my structure. I am still up a piece. So I, yeah, I can probably just castle. So that rook was defending this pawn, so it makes me want to add some attackers here. Maybe just this and come in. Let's make this bishop make a decision. Okay. <laughs> now we saw in the play in the Argentina bot that they tried like the fishing pole trap, and this is almost like that, except it's definitely not working here. Because there's just. Right? This, if I move my knight, rook in, king up. No, no, no. I'm, I don't, I'm not believing this. No, I did see what if bishop comes here, but no, we, we always have an escape square, right? Uh, I mean, even here, attack this pawn looks all right, but this seems far more natural, just centralizing. Let's play that one. Now here, hitting the rook. 
improving the night further. Yeah, and this bot's now just hanging a lot of pieces. Uh, Simon, Rook coming in, we're attacking two things at once. This weak pawn. And the bishop, so the bishop's hung. Can we throw in this first? Takes, push. Let's just take the free piece, guys. And take... I'm going to get some premiums on the board now. Uh, maybe just double the rooks in. That should be quickest. Something like that. It comes up here. Maybe trade everything off on the square. That looks like a nice move. And feels like they're almost getting mated here. Uh, check. What about this? Taking away this escape square. And now, it's not quite mate, is it, because of this square here? I'm just, in my head, I'm just trying to, he might sack the rook here, even. So, how, so when you're trying to get the king in a mate in there, you've got to think, like, which squares has he got? So we're taking this away, we're taking this away. Taking all these squares away. So it's just literally these two squares here. So we can go like this to take away this square. And that would that would force checkmate because the king can't move, so we'd just literally play this. So that's forced him to sacrifice the uh the, the rook there. Is this still mate? This, this, this. No, not quite. It probably is, but yeah, let's just take the rook. And maybe that looks good. Right, bring the king. I'm sure I've missed a checkmate here, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, where is it? All right, let's cut off these light squares. And then we're going to shepherd the king this way. And this is not the most efficient checkmate I've ever got, guys. <laughs> Um, I don't know, this? The, all right, I'm getting a bit embarrassed now. Um, come on, where where's the quickest checkmate here? Bring the king, close him in. And, I mean, that's a check, but let's just keep bringing the king, and this will lead to mate. Still still mate. <laughs> yeah, it was forcing something, wasn't it? Ah, oh, dear, 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 dear. I don't know why, I really just couldn't find a nice checkmate there. That was very odd. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, I'm tired, man. All day at work. And then... <laughs> and then uh, football bots. Okay. Come on. Yeah, so that's why I've not been posted as much, guys. I've just been absolutely knackered recently. Um... Yeah, you can always just take this, so I'm not too worried about the bishop. I'm not putting my queen in an alignment issue with their bishop. I might hit their bishop like that, though. <laughs> to think that last game I was up nine points of material as well. <laughs> uh, so he's trying to trap my bishop, so maybe this. Playing very weirdly. King's in the middle, so we should probably line a rook up with his king and open it up somehow. That should be thematic. I mean, this looks like it's going to win a piece. Or two. Alright, and we're not throwing this one away, guys. <laughs> we're not... Actually, that, I'm tr I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Takes, and that removes the defender of this knight. Um, probably playing a little bit too quick. So, back. Targeting this weakness. Let's move the knight, because it's always a little bit hanging. Improve the knight further on a nice outpost square. This, hitting some stuff. 
Nice little fork. We gobble. And to think I just drew against this this Croatia bot, guys. Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. You know why I stalemated that? It was because I was just embarrassed that I hadn't found a checkmate yet. I was just I was just rushing it a little bit and I did, honestly, I forgot that all the pawns were locked. I didn't realise the pawns were choked up like that. Uh, but you can't stalemate if it's check. Something like this. Now, this will be a much easier mate. Yeah. Because we've got the old queen. Yeah, a little bit embarrassing there, guys, with the stalemate. But apart from that, that's how you take down Croatia. But hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Like and subscribe.